So Elon Musk's AI company, XAI, just did something pretty wild. It's open sourcing its Grok 2.5 model. Now, on the surface, you might be thinking, okay, he's just giving away last year's tech. What's the big deal? But what if I told you this is actually a super calculated, maybe even genius move, one that could totally shake up the entire AI industry? Let's dig in and figure out what's really going on here. All right, so to really get this, we've got to start with the big picture. And right now there's this huge fight, this fundamental conflict right at the heart of the AI industry. It's basically a battle of ideas over who gets to control what is, let's be honest, the most powerful technology we've ever seen. Okay, so this whole conflict really boils down to two totally different ways of thinking. On one side, you've got what we call proprietary AI. Think of it like a walled garden. Companies build these amazing things, but they lock the gates, keep all the code secret, and control who gets in. And on the other side, you've got open source AI. This is more like an open commons, a public park. The technology is out there for everyone. Anybody can use it, tweak it, and build something new on top of it. So who's in which camp? Well, in the walled garden, you've got the heavyweights, right? Companies like OpenAI and Google. They've traditionally kept their best models under lock and key. But in the open commons, you've got players like Meta with their Llama model. And now, yep, you guessed it, XAI with Grok. They're throwing their code out there, betting that a whole community of developers can innovate way faster. Which brings us right back to Elon Musk. Where does his big announcement fit into this whole drama? And, you know, why is everyone talking about it? So on August 25th, Musk just drops this bomb on X. He says the Grok 2.5 model, their best model from last year, is now open source. And what that means is the model's weights, which are basically the secret sauce, the core of its brain, were just put up on Hugging Face, a huge platform for developers, for literally anyone to grab. But this brings up a really important question, doesn't it? I mean, AI moves so fast, it's insane. New models drop, like, every other week. So what's the actual value of a model that's already considered last year's news? Well, if you look at the benchmarks and what people in the developer community are saying, Grok 2.5 isn't exactly winning any races right now. It's kind of hanging out in what you might call Tier 3, right there with models like Llama and Mistral. It's definitely not up there with the latest and greatest from Google or Anthropic. And, you know, we can't talk about Grok without remembering its, let's just say, colorful past. This thing has had its share of controversy, big time. We're talking reports of it pushing conspiracy theories, some really disturbing Holocaust skepticism, and then there was that one time it famously called itself Mecca Hitler? Yeah. So all that history adds this whole other weird layer to Musk's decision, right? It makes you wonder what the real motivation is here. But here's where it gets really interesting. This free model? Well, it isn't quite as free as it looks. It turns out, there's some pretty important fine print. So we got to ask, what does open source even mean here? Is it really, truly open for anyone to do whatever they want with it? Or is there a catch? And there is. One AI engineer, Tim Kellogg, pointed out that the license for Grok isn't a standard one. It's a custom community license, and his words were that it has some anti-competitive terms. And that, right there, is the key. So when you actually read the license, you see it's, well, it's not very open at all. You can only use it for research and non-commercial stuff. You can't use it to train other AIs. And here's the kicker. You are absolutely forbidden from using it to create anything that competes with XAI. So yeah, the community can play with it, maybe even make it better, but nobody can use it to build a business that might threaten Musk's. And this is just a completely different universe from what we think of as true open source, like the MIT or Apache 2.0 licenses. With those, you can basically do anything, build a billion dollar company, modify it, sell it, whatever. So what XAI is doing here, it's less open source and more what you'd call source available. It's a big difference. Okay, so why? Why would a company go to all this trouble to give away its tech, even with all these strings attached? What is the master plan? It's simple, really. The free model isn't the product. It's the bait. It's the foundation for a much, much bigger play, which is all about building a massive ecosystem around XAI's tech. And honestly, this playbook is kind of a masterclass. Think about it. By releasing Grok, XAI pressures its rivals. It becomes a magnet for top developer talent who want to work on cool, high-profile projects. And best of all, they're basically crowdsourcing R&D from a global army of smart people. 
It all funnels into this brilliant hybrid model. Give the basic stuff away for free, but then you sell the super powerful premium versions like Grok 3 and 4 and all the enterprise support that big companies need. And this isn't just a theory. This strategy works. There was this IBM report from 2025 that found companies using open source AI saw a 51% return on their investment. That's way better than the 41% for companies using closed proprietary models. Why? Because it just gets you to market so much faster. And get this, this isn't a one and done deal. Musk is already promising to release the next one, the way more powerful Grok 3, under a similar license next year. That tells you this isn't a whim. This is a long-term strategy. So what does this all mean for the future of AI? Well, the ripple effects are gonna be massive. What we're seeing is a huge shift in the AI race. It's not just about who has the absolute best model hidden away in some secret lab anymore. The new game is about who has the biggest, most energetic, most creative community building cool stuff on top of your platform. So let's break down the key takeaways. What Musk is doing here democratizes access, right? It makes it easier for startups to get in the game. It puts a ton of pressure on the closed off companies like OpenAI to be more transparent. It creates this whole new hybrid business model. And it all points to one thing, the ecosystem is king. The real prize isn't just selling one product, it's becoming the fundamental platform that everyone else builds on. And that leaves us with one last big, kind of provocative question to chew on. As we head into this new chapter for AI, What's ultimately going to matter more, having the best, most secret code or having the biggest, most passionate community? That's the billion dollar question. And the entire industry is scrambling to figure out the answer. <laughs>